Hello guys, welcome back, this is Frank Vega, this project is the corset belt, right here we can see the models being taped up, and normally you will use uh, something called a draping technique where you grab muslin and drape it over a body form, but I grabbed my girlfriend and used masking tape, and this is the half belt shape that I created out of that taping process so I already uh, did some some part of this uh, project right here that I didn't record it forgot but here I am showing you um, the, the first belt which is a D-ring strap belt at the beginning, I wanted to create uh, using buckles. You see, I was going to place buckles right there, but I realized that the center front was going to be lost once the user would adjust the the distance of the holes. The center center front of the belt will like change which in this case the buckles you will see that they were going to be placed in the middle actually in the same uh, center front line but with the buckle system those that line the buckles will move so i switched it up you see this the the, the buckles it will look good for something else but I switched it up for uh, some D-rings that will, you'll be, you will be seeing um, in a video in a moment. So here I have my pattern pieces cut out and I'm cutting out my leather pieces. I'm using a my brown hair on hide cow hair. Some people might call it pony hair, but it's cow hair. Um, what I'm using over here um and this is a brindle cow so it has brown hair black hair and beige gotta keep that knife sharp so here now i'm proceeding to sky my edges manually skiving them i'm using uh, my burnishing glass which i do not recommend because you can actually uh, scrape the glass i create a little ding on the edge of it but um yeah so now i'm just grabbing my pieces this leather is a thick leather so yeah in order for me to fold it i had to you know sky it manually this, this was a long process right here to be honest my fingers were hurting but uh it gave a nice look to the belt at the end here we go skiving more skive to do to each part of the outside material the lining for this belt it's the gold uh leather donated at fit it's thin and it has a texture and it does reflect it's a it's matte but it has a certain sheen to it when when it bends so it's nice yeah i told you this is a long process right here skiving you see the skyver right there So this project right here, this is for um, belt design, Carol Danner and or Daner, Carol Daner and um, Nicole line building. So I made two belts. Both belts, the bodies are the same, including the closure part, which I used uh, the ring system for both of them. However, you will see later that both are different. Okay, so right now we are sewing the outside material, that brown uh, brinder hair. Uh, 
this yuki machine it's uh the nu 1541 i believe d as in david n as in nancy u as in you how you doing you so and let uh, uh, yeah that's dnu numbers 15 41 1 5 4 1 so here i am uh folding my seams i'm using a bone folder and then i'm using a roller that roller is a little bit heavy so it helps me for those edges to be nice and flat smooth no air pockets so now I'm reinforcing those seams. Since I'm not using bones in my corset belt, this top stitch, besides uh, serving as, uh, as a decoration uh, stitch, also doubles as a reinforcement in those areas. Tying those loose ends, getting that lighter up, watch your fingers because melted thread burns fuse culture that's a Fran Vega brand with a gorilla <laughs> yes so you can follow me on Instagram Frank Vega Studio Frank Vega Studio on YouTube too also on Facebook, Frank Vega Studio, and share my content. If you like it, uh, please, uh, any comments. Yeah, here we go, baby. We're cutting uh, the lining for the hair on hide belt. This is the gold lining. It's very thin, yet yeah, it's a... Uh, um, um, the tensile st uh, strength of it it's pretty nice to be used as a lining it won't break so here we are right now uh, sewing the outside material and the lining so as per the instructions we are putting right faces together and sewing and this part right here seems to go very fast uh, this is the D-ring uh, strap um and we are gluing the deer rings to the straps and uh, not gluing, but uh, that's what we're doing. And that's done. That's the bell, my beautiful uh, girlfriend showing, modeling uh, the belt. And that's the back for that's, that's This is for the line building project. And this is for Carol Daner. Bell design. This is oh, this is the one. Okay, there we go. We're cutting some leather now. We're cutting the cognac leather. This was donated uh, via FIT. I'm using the same uh, leather um, um, as from the other one, the gold leather. Now we're sewing the outside material and then uh, we're going to proceed to uh, sew the lining material. to switch the walking foot because that walking foot has a guide of a quarter of an inch i'm using two types of uh walking foots with guides one with an, a quarter of an inch and the other one with an eighth of an inch <clears throat> i think it helps me for precision it has like a little metal guide that goes up and down with the walking foot so this is the part where I'm uh, sewing the lining pieces. This lining piece, unlike unlike the first belt, 
the first belt the uh, lining was a one single piece this lining is a two piece lining so here I'm cutting out the uh, uh, stabilizer it's a fusible one side fusible but I'm mean, just holding it with uh, contact cement for the time being and now I am drafting the D-rings, the tabs, the, the, the strap for the D-rings where the D-rings are going to be placed. This is going inside of the D-rings. So the D-rings are going to be sandwiched in between the two exterior, between the lining and the exterior uh, material. So actually this second belt is a two-sided belt. I can, you can't flip it. One side is cognac, the other side it's gold. So here I'm placing, I was placing the, the tabs inside of the, uh, on top of the belt. So now I'm going to be sew sewing the layers and here, so the D, the D rings, you won't see them because the D rings are inside. So this has been sewn inside out and then I leave a pocket. Of about, of about six inches and I turned the right side it out and when I turned the right side out the D-rings will be uh, outside and now here I'm doing the top stitch I already turned the, the belt inside out the right side out and I'm doing a top stitch to make it flat and here you will set, you will be able to see the D-rings out those D-rings were placed inside before so now you have a nice flat belt once I do that final top stitch right there and that's it for that a good nice beautiful belt good for my beautiful girlfriend very happy So that's the suicide right there. You can appreciate and see the D rings are inside. Yeah, I hope you liked it. And you guys take care. And I'll see you soon. All right. Peace. Ciao.